how we finished Saints Row the Third. We're back to this game. <laughs> the game that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. And you, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> this game will not end until it says so. So, we've done all of this, all of that. Oh, apparently, sh oh, I guess Snottingham is the one area I still need to explore. But yeah, we pretty much did all of pretty much England except for this side of Wessex, which is Ham Hamptonshire. Hamptonshire and Winchester. But before we get there, we need to hit up uh, Schnottingham. So yeah, we're, we're going to do that. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to do that. Um, I guess first things first, what I could probably do is uh, I, need to, I need to open up the map for Schnottingham. I should probably do that. That's a good fast travel here. But yeah, I've been streaming for like six hours so far. And I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm already uh, fucking exhausted. Started off the day with Valhalla. Stopped Valhalla. Stopped playing Valhalla for a little bit. And beat a game. And now I'm back here again. And it's almost d demoralizing that I could I could beat another open world game in the middle of Valhalla and I'm still fucking playing Valhalla. <laughs> it is really demoralizing when it comes to when it, when you really think about it, it's like I'm gonna be stuck playing this game forever. It feels like it. <sighs> I wonder when the when this game first came out and all the freaking Assassin's Creed heads were playing this game. I wonder how much they did when it came to completion stuff and everything that they did before they decided it's like I can't do all of this on stream or something like that. And they just fucking quit and they beat you know, they just pretty much rush beating the game. <laughs> it's like I can't do this anymore. I gotta finish playing this game, I can't fucking do it. And then it just drove them mad because they had like another 20 or 30 hours of the main story left. And this game literally has you doing thousands upon thousands of things in one sitting. And it's like, I can't do this. Man. It's so tiring. Like, if there is a game that you can put in the definition, like, in the, in the dictionary, that is considered a tiring game, a game that is an absolute schlog, <laughs> it, it is Valhalla. I was like, oh my fucking god. You know, there is, you know, people were, you know, would complain that games are too short. I tend to agree on the opposite end, that games can be too long. Games can get way too long. And it, and it's usually the dictating part is not how much time you get to play the game. It's how much time you're devoting your, your own time and energy and all that to what type of content is in that game. That's what dictates on if a game's too long or too short. Not the actual length itself. Like, I, I've played eight hour games or six hour games that felt way too long, depending on what type of game it is and also what's in the game. And then I played 80 hour games that felt way too short because I was having a blast and it felt like, like a very good example is Ghost of Tsushima. I, in my opinion, thought it could be longer. Because <laughs> I was just having nothing but fun playing that game. This, however, it sits in a very weird middle section. There are certain fun things that can be said that are in Valhalla. And then a majority of other things can say, like, this didn't need to be in the game. I'm tired of this. I don't need to play this. I don't need to do this. This doesn't need to be in the game. 
know, combat is okay for the most part, but it gets tiring and tedious after a bit too. Especially with a game this long too, I don't feel like I ever need to do uh, stealth unless I'm forced to do stealth. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Well, ever since I think Origins, I I really don't want to do stealth in those games because stealth combat and all that suck. <laughs> They used to be really good. Like stealth used to be pretty much the thing that made Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed. Not anymore. Now stealth is just a, a hindrance to progression. <laughs> it slows down the pace. Because it just isn't good anymore. Now I gotta now I gotta play Assassin's Creed's word brandering type of combat very lethargic combat <laughs> yeah but I, I pretty much I think my score is set in stone when it comes to Assassin's Creed Valhalla I forgot what I gave Odyssey and Origins I think I gave Origins a pretty decent score I think I gave Odyssey a lower score because it was the same Pretty much formula but longer <laughs> and I didn't like that <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be the same case and it depending on what I gave Odyssey it might even get a lower score because it's just the same fucking thing over and over again there's some really good stories in Valhalla but it gets overshadowed with the monotony of how long the game actually is. Ooh, ooh. This is monotonous. This is tiring. And I can't wait to beat this game. <laughs> what happens when I dedicate myself to doing full playthroughs on this channel? I don't have to do it, but this is what this, ch you know, this channel's known to play a game from beginning to end. <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. There's only been a few games in history in this channel that we've decided never to finish. Persona 5 was one of them. <laughs> and the thing is, well, that's a weird thing. Persona 5 was not a bad game. Actually, I really enjoyed playing it. But there was a certain part of my life, a certain time in my life that is it's like I, I really can't keep playing this game right now. And maybe, maybe one day, Mega, Mega, or anyone else that are fans of Persona 5 will see me start up the game one day again and beat it. <laughs> don't count your, don't count your whistles. It's not a promise. It's just, there could be a chance one day that it could happen. Ah, fuck. It's gonna be one of those. Right, I'm gonna try and get to as close to the viewpoint as I can. The synchronization point. I think these are some of the last few synchronizations I'll do in the game. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. But for those who are listening, um, yeah, Va Valhalla has pretty much cemented almost practically in stone that, uh, if I'm ever to play another Assassin's Creed, it cannot be like this anymore. It just can't. Like, if it's going to be this long, it's got to have absolutely 100% raving reviews from both the player side and the critic side. Like, it's got to, it's just, it's got to be roaring, ripping good. Mm. 
but and it can't have the same combat. It can't have the same formula. It it just it can't be like a cookie cookie cutter version of what it's always been. I I I can't justify myself playing another Assassin's Creed like this ever again. Just can't. <laughs> The only reason why I gave Valhalla a chance was because it's based during the Viking Ages, and I'm a sucker for that. I'm a huge sucker for Vikings when it came to the invasion of England. I was like, oh, I love that part of history, actually. <laughs> because it's pretty much what changed England and pretty much the world forever. Like, what the Vikings did in England changed the whole world. It, pretty, it definitely changed Christianity, that's for sure. <laughs> Christianity wouldn't have been the same without the Vikings doing what they did. And, and... It went in the push forward. It went push forth the Vikings to discover Vinland, also known as the, was it Eastern, Eastern Northern Eastern, um, Canada. I forgot where they exactly they landed, but they landed in somewhere in like e like east uh the east end of Canada, and that's what we know know as Vinland. Which we don't call it Vinland, but that's pretty much what Vinland was supposed to be. Rural lands. Yeah, but when it comes to Assassin's Creed, due to the fa fact it's you know, mostly based in fiction, they they went absolutely ape shit. When it comes to having their own tell, you know, telling of the stories, <laughs> it's like, why are the, why are the Ragnarsons so fucking old? <laughs> One thing I do kind of believe, though, is like Leif Erikson wasn't the first uh, Viking to discover Vinland, though. I think. Uh, I think someone a hundred years before him did it. It makes sense. <laughs> I mean, Floki, the one that pretty much found uh, Greenland, I have a feeling he's the, he was one of the first people to discover the Americas. It's like, look, this guy found freaking Greenland and all that. <laughs> And he found Iceland. So, I, w I would not put. I definitely wouldn't say, uh, what do you call it? I definitely wouldn't say Leif Erikson discovered the Americas first. <laughs> I was like, nah. Was, um, we've, we're getting more and more evidence that another Viking did all that shit before him. All right, now let's go to Schnottingham. Do, 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 do. I like how I have my history rants. <laughs> kind of like how everyone, for some stupid reason, everyone in America still thinks like, Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. I was like, that is far from the fucking truth. I have no clue, but I feel like I should probably put it like a cattle prod to your head just because of how fucking stupid you sound. <laughs> yeah. I was like, look, not to insult everyone that loves that monster of a human, Christopher Columbus. He didn't do jack shit in his whole entire life except for being a murderous monster. <laughs> he didn't do shit. <laughs> what, the Italian that was working for the Spanish? 
yeah, totally. I would totally want to be, you know, keep studying the guy that didn't really do anything in history. I mean, at least, at least we don't have Christopher Columbus Day anymore, thank God. I don't even know why the fuck we had it. The guy, the guy didn't do anything for America. <laughs> And as, as a person that has, like, part Italian blood in him, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the fucker. I feel very strongly about that subject. I don't even know where it comes from. But it does, it just it just came. It's probably because of the whole who discovered America first. And when it came to foreign people. Saxon and Dale were at peace. I expected nothing less from land under Hemming and Jarl's rule. So it is snotting him? It looks small. Norway, wolf kissed. Vili will be pleased to know it. We have all come a long way. Yeah, where is Vili? Frickly spoke true. You have come to England. I have, and I mean to stay. <laughs> I have done a lot in England. <laughs> I've been here for many seasons. It'll be good to see Vili again. Just gotta find out where Vili is. A fellow adventurer. Where is the matter of yes. my feet? And money, money, money. Uh, do, 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 mysteries. Right. Let me. Pour the meat. Eivor has come to snotting him. Skull. Skull. You can no. Oh, hey, there we are. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, I'm right behind, dude. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingr Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Himingaryal is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased the skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the wolf kist to the encampment. A tale of two Jarls. Audio is not quite right. <laughs> I'm just, it's kind of noticed that. It's like, yeah, it sounds a little weird about the audio right now. Maybe that we're out of the cave now, it'll be a little bit better. Mass travel point. Oh, doing. The sea beasts. 
Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Oh, uh, I gotta get my own. No, not the freaking mount. I need to call my ship. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us it's in your ships. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was those picks to feed us. My family incurred a large work of debt, but my youth was too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming Gyar would have taken what he wanted from my family, including our lives. But this time is coming. He spared us. Time has come for picks to shore. Protect the convoy. Seems like all of those guys on the left. Oh my god, there's more. You're finished! Alright, is that it? Nope. Ready, both! Do you really have to say that every freaking time? Well, let's get going. Ah, uh, more of them. This is eventful. Alright, that's all those picks. Picks on the rich. Start the convoy. Ready. these barricades. Fire! 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 The convoy remains, Wolf Kist. Or, back us around. The convoy, the convoy is there. Heming the yard will be pleased. Ready, go! Fire! 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 Come for What? More? Ready, bows! <laughs> Fire! 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 Oh! All right. 
There's another one. Alright, we should be good. Should be that definitely should be the last of the picks. How's our convoy? Slowly coming. Notice that the uh, the seats are also like chest as well. And the convoy is taking a sweet fucking time, isn't it? There's one. I don't know what's this guy's problem, but he's taking sweet time. There we go. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Lily and Heminga Jarl will be pleased to see you. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Doo. This arc is. It's probably not as long as the last one. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Yippers. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. <laughs> oh, come on. The picks tower. Muster the men for battle. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. He is looking older. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! must end this soon, before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneberg, should any picks escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. But I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. 
Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. So, Spirit, it's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? I just do that. We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! Oh. Already at it. All right, we're not not pissing, pissy fitting. And he did. So he should be up top somewhere. Get the chief. Da chief. Oh, he's gonna be over there. There, the chief. Oh, excuse me, this is kind of doing my thing. Looks like I'm going to be the first one there, eh? Stop me, huh? Yeah. Well, Chieftain's dead. <laughs> that was the quickest siege ever. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> They love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me, or you, Heminger? 
I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Vili since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for Kinder Downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Kiroki, we. There we go. Oh, that's um, sixty out of eighty people I've yet to talk to. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've talked and met sixty people, but it's just so much more. So much more. And Twenty more people be introduced to. Ridiculous. Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I thought you were. No, not that you worse. You me to fight empty air, Vili, and tree. Fucking shit. <laughs> you taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast, I'll have you remember. Um. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? Ah. <laughs> Good comeback. <laughs> Stonebird was too yep. not sent there by father to help. <clears throat> That we're stomping here, but I guess not. 
was triggering or sent there by father to help. We must go. What's going on? Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Send the wounded. We'll get them out. Gotta be firemen. Anyone in here? Someone's in trouble. No, no, no. On fire. Two up. Revive. Leave your things. Get to treat me. We'll be safe with him. Do 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 Let's see, anyone in here? Nope. No one in here. Uh, that's not even a door I can bust open. Eee. Oh, this person needs help. Go, 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 go. Is anyone, anyone out there? Thank you. Thank you. The other side must be barred. Yeah. That's stupid. We can. Your butt over here, girl. Thank you, Trent. Thank you. All right. Boom. Boom. Need to find more That's people. Sexy. Trouble. Is anyone, save my family. They're in here. Save my wife, please. Uh, Let me be. Not uh, me. My wife. Save her first. Okay. Okay. I have to move fast. Save my wife, please. Leave me be. Okay, okay. She's drawn her last breath. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Yeah? Get over here. Where are you? Where, where is he? Where are you? Answer me! Oh. Oh, he's over there. We need to clear the path. I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Okie dokie. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here. Oh, thank thee, old father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Okay. So we're going over here. I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. 
The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I never change. This is hardly the type for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Billy myself. Alright guys, I think I am done for today. I'm all I'm all gamed out. <laughs> I'm all gamed out. And uh I think it's time for me to take a break for the rest of the day when it comes to just streaming and playing games in general. 